I decided to work on the forecastle and poop deck because I still have not received my detail kit for the hall. So let's take a look at what we have planned to get this part of the project started. The first thing I want to talk about is the wood deck. And this deck is from scaledeck.com. Now we will be using the high detail side. Notice that there's two. The difference between these two is this is the box wood deck. So in other words, if you're not going to put any details on your ship, you will use this guy here. So this is the forecastle deck along with the poop deck. We will be using this hatch cover from Model Monkey. And we will be using the MK1 detail kits here. So we'll be painting these guys, also weathering them with a metal weatherer so it could look like steel, actually. We'll be using these brass pieces as well. We also are going to be setting up the doors, which are these doors right here. And we'll have to remove a lot of this stuff here and pretty much get it flat. Uh, the same with this guy, pretty much get it flat, getting it flat because we're not going to be using any of this stuff on top of here. So this is what we're going to do in the meantime while we sit and wait on that mini brass detail kit to get here. And hopefully by the time we get this done, the kit will be here and we can start working on that hole. Here we are all grinded up. I'll still continue to sand it down before I lay the wood deck down. But it is pretty smooth as it is. The poop deck was pretty simple. Uh, the forecastle was a lot harder. It actually feels good. So that's what you're looking for, that smooth feel. Still got to do a little bit cleaning and sanding. But other than that, I think we got a good head start right here. So let's see how this feels. Oh yeah, you can't feel anything here. This is going to be clean. So I don't think I have to do any more work on this one. Let's see what the forecastle feels like. Oh my god, this fits perfect. Uh, you know that little dip, deep spot? I don't feel it. I don't feel it. So this is it. This is final.
At this point, we completed adding the detail doors to the forecastle and the poop deck. Now, um, the poop deck was a little more involved because these doors were not included in the trumpeter layout itself. So we had to cut some holes in the back uh, so we could uh, get the light to illuminate through these doors. To lay the doors down on the plastic, I used Gorilla Glue. The reason why I use Gorilla Glue is because Gorilla Glue allows you to move it. You have about a half an hour of moving time and you could definitely get that door perfect. And with the Gorilla Glue, if you have any excess glue bleeding over, you can just rub that right off and it'll look perfect. So these guys are pretty much done. Other than that, this is ready to be painted. So I finished painting both decks and for some reason I'm having a seriously hard time finding the exact color that goes at the bottom of this um, of these areas right here now it looks like an orange mustard color I'm gonna have to create this because I couldn't find any colors in Tamaya and uh, uh, we'll go ahead and start with an orange color this color was achieved by using these 23 milliliter bottles. I used three quarters of the red and one full bottle of the yellow. Now uh, the red is XF7 and the yellow is XF3. Now when I mix these two together, I pretty much almost achieved this color, but it was too dark. It was close, but too dark. So I lightened it with one bottle of flat white XF2 and this is the smaller 10 milliliter bottle so um, it would be like half of these guys almost and so three quarters a full bottle and a bottle and you will get to this color right here in the process of masking the forecastle I was following the reference line that trumpeter put uh, for us to mask this bottom orange area to be painted. What I discovered is if you pick up a six millimeter roll of masking tape, it fits perfect for masking this line. Now what I mean by that is if you take this six millimeter tape and you put it right against this edge, you notice that it is the perfect fit it fits right on top of the masking line so let's start here and follow this edge so there you go I'm right on top I think I'm cool with that right there and then let me just peel this off because this isn't straight yet and then get right on top of that edge there you go now go ahead and press it down now you want to go ahead and relieve the tension so you can get these little corners in. So I'll pick it back up now that I have most of the tape down. Then I'll just lightly put it and then I'll stick my nail in here to get this corner. And then I'll follow through. And as you can see, we'll do the same on this side. Okay, and now what you can see is this tape is perfectly aligned with this edge right there. Okay, all the way across. So this line on the top will be solid. And now you'll have your area where you can paint orange. The masking is done. I am very, very happy with these results as far as this orange line is concerned. Very little touch up if any. Now we can finally move on to installing that wood deck on here. So it's time to get the wood decks on. Now scale deck recommended this Gorilla Glue and if that's what they recommended I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna start off with the forecastle deck and Pick yourself up an acid brush. Now, 
get a generous amount on there. Just make sure you get to the edges. Okay. The other thing is you don't want to press too hard on it um, and don't get too much glue on it because they'll start bleeding through these holes and you'll just do have extra work for yourself. So this glue doesn't dry instantly. If you get glue on your finger, try not to touch the wood deck. Or yeah, you could move it around a little bit. And kind of like hold it in a spot that has nothing and then just start rubbing all that extra stuff off. Why did it do that? Oh, that's a disaster. So do not use a wet rag. Wood decks are different because I have used plenty of times where I wiped glue right off the wood deck. Apparently, you can't do it with this wood deck. Now, how do we fix that? Well, so I'm going to go ahead and chop that corner off more than likely right around here where this runner runs. And I'm going to do it under the microscope and then right along this line right here and just bring it all the way up to here.
So here are the two anchor chain rails. And if you notice the one on the left it has some kind of cast or, or black steel look. And the one on the right just looks plain. So what I used to get this going was a gunmetal texture from Tamaya's Weathering Master Kit C. So this one works really well for me. Uh, it'll work well for you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get the right one done. So here are the pieces that I'll be gluing on. None of them are together as you can see. They're just laying down in there. And I'm just going to get them all in the right places and just glue them down. And then uh, of course I'm going to put these two ladders that go on this end over here and over here. So um, as you can see this is what it looks like. And that's textured and everything. The texture kind of gives it a little bit of highlight where you can literally actually see the door handles and stuff like that. The good news is I did get half of Mini Brass's detail kit so I'll be able to start working on the Hulk but I'm going to go ahead and complete the poop deck and the forecastle deck since I went on ahead and started it so it's actually looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Basically I just glued this and did the best I could to try to align these guys with the edge and keep them as uniform as I could.
Okay, so these are pretty much dry and I'm gonna see how we're gonna remove that excess glue and look at that, it came right off. So let me get all that excess glue comes right off, look at that, wow. It's like almost magic. That's why I love the Gorilla Glue. Now when you look at these two rails right here, they're literally floating in the air. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can see right through right there, you see that? That's not good. So I'm gonna have to somehow get a piece of glue underneath there and then put a little clamp and push these guys down so they're literally on the deck. Okay.